Okay, now I want to go ahead and create some cooling lines for, I don't know, we'll say my cavity. So I'm going to go into my assembly navigator, I'm going to expand my product layout, and go to my cavity and make that my display part or open it in its own window. Once I'm in here, I can go ahead and start sketching something out, but uh, what I need to do first is go ahead and offset uh, a datum plane. And I'll say S16 looks pretty good. I can change whatever that number is. Let's go ahead and do that, F8. All right, fair enough. Back in my mold wizard, I'll select pattern channel. And I'll pick that datum plane that I just created there. So, picking that plane. And I'll use just a rectangle for my sketch. Don't care about any of those numbers at this point. I can go to rapid dimension and give it an offset to the edge of the cavity. So we'll say, I don't know, 15. All the way around. So it's just constraining the sketch. Once I'm finished with the sketch, it'll go ahead and create my channel at 8. Listing diameter is at 10, so let's just roll this back up to 10 and hit OK. So that's set. But now I have to extend it because I need to add in my inlet and outlet uh, components. So I'm going to extend this guy. We add it to 15. I can show results to make sure because if it uh, blew through the part, Let's give you something a little bit larger so you can see it. So it goes all the way through the part. That's not real world case. So I'll undo and take it back down to 15. And re repeat the process for the outlet or inlet side, whatever you're going to make that. All right. Once that's done, I need to uh, define what type of cooling we're going to use in that. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to box the whole thing and you may have none. The last time I was in this it was set to water so I'll, I'll select water again. The types of uh, if you want a channel or, or baffle everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Once I'm done at that point I need to start my cooling circuits. So I'll pick the first one going through the actual channels. So there's my plug. It's going to be my start. My diverter is going to be here. And that's what that's going to look like. And you can change that if you wish. Let me roll up, stretch out this window so you can see it. There's my plug types. And then my connector yet again. So I'm just going to leave all those as defaults as is. Once I'm done with that, they'll label them. And then I can go to my uh, concept design and go ahead and add all this in there. So I'll just hit shift and apply. So it creates, brings in all those components for those guys. And that's how you create your, your channels.